So our next speaker is uh, Navid Sharifi, coming from the Faculty of Engineering and Computer Science, where he's doing a PhD in mechanical engineering. So the title of uh, his thesis is Producing Super Hydrophobic Coatings Using Thermal spa uh, Spray Processes. And um, the title of the three-minute thesis is How Lotus Leaf Will Save Us from the Next Ice Age. Thank you. So how many of you have experienced the uh, great ice storm of 98? Ice on power lines caused uh, power failures as long as a month. Ice can also form on a flying airplane, causing damage, control issues, and even a crash. So what, what, what can we do to prevent ice formation on power lines or airplanes? Spray hot water, heat them. What if we could treat their surfaces in such a way that ice doesn't easily form on them? Studies show that surfaces that repel water can postpone ice formation. We call them super hydrophobic, which means they're super scared of water. Teflon cookware would be a familiar example. Water doesn't stick, but Teflon is only hydrophobic. And I'm talking about super hydrophobic surfaces, which are much, much, much more water repellent. Most super hydrophobic surfaces are polymers, but polymers are weak and cannot survive the harsh and abrasive environment of an airplane or power lines, so we have to look for another solution, which is given to us by nature. Why don't water striders drawn or lotus leaves get wet? Because they both have a very similar microstructure. They are covered with very small microscopic knobs, which are themselves covered with even smaller nano-sized bumps. These microstructures repel water in what is called the lotus effect. So I'm working to reproduce this texture on the surface of engineering materials. And I'm using a coating process, but first two major points must be considered. One, uh, the coating must be durable, and two, it must be easily applicable on large surfaces, such as an airplane wing. So I picked plasma spray coating technique. In plasma spraying, particles quickly pass through a localized plasma, which is as hot as the sun. Particles melt, deposit on the surface, and form the coating. Plasma spraying is versatile and cost effective, and can be used to, po to coat both uh, metals and ceramics. So, by the end of my PhD, I hope using plasma spraying to have created a coating which is super scared of water and applicable on airplanes and power lines. Then, the only ice would be inside the airplanes in your drinks. <laughs> Thanks.